Hey YouTube, this is Joe with Youngblood Family Farm. Uh, today I want to talk about my, uh, it's a King Cutter uh, five foot wide rototiller, PTO rototiller. And mostly I want to talk about the, the slip clutch that's on this. Give you a little backstory. Uh, I received this uh, rototiller and I used it behind my, my Kubota. And I would hit a root and I was doing a, uh, some road tilling for a neighbor and I hit a root and shut the tractor right off and, and I thought that's not right and after talking to our neighbor he says you need to buy one of those slip clutches. Well after doing just a few minutes of research I realized that this has a slip clutch but it was never adjusted after it came from the factory and so I haven't used this rototiller since last spring Honestly, I'm, I'm doing a whole lot less rototilling and, and doing a little bit more, uh, um, less tillage, so to speak. So, but I'm going to bring you in and kind of show you how to adjust the slip clutch. So I have you as close as possible. And like I said, this is, this is not an entertainment video by any means. Sometimes I try to entertain and usually I come up short, but, um, so what you see here is these are the spring-loaded bolts and and this has a two plates um, and and they are they connect to the PTO shaft here so this first plate and then the back plate they're sandwiched together with the shaft inside here is a clutch plate and I don't know if I could take you around and show you um, I can't. There's there's shrouds all over the place. Maybe we go in this way. Almost there. Oh, I can't get you. But uh, and so that that clutch plate is then connected with the gearbox that's in the back, and that's connected with the tines. Now, what I've had before is I hit a, I hit a rock one time and shut the tractor off. Another time I hit a, hit a root of a really small tree, but that shut the tractor off. And, and I'm really fortunate I didn't break anything in my, my PTO box um, or even in the tractor. And, and, and so this tiller is designed to slip when we hit that so we don't damage the tractor. But when it came, these nuts right here were probably turned down five or six times and really sandwiched in there pretty tight. So what the manual says, and, it, and it's pretty hard to actually find the directions in the manual, but the manual says, and these are, these are 17 millimeter, um, what the manual says is a good place to start is get it so that that spring is no longer loose. So we're going to bring that up a little higher for you. So bring it up so that spring is no longer loose. And we should probably do that with all the springs. Anyhow. So we get it so it's no longer loose. And then they say to turn it in one and a half turns. And so you're going to have to kind of get your... Uh, Get your ratchet so that you can actually measure what one and a half turns of that nut looks like. And so, there's one, and a half. Now, we're supposed to do this to every single fastener so that we don't have any more of this wiggle, that that will have an appropriate amount of tension on that clutch plate. Um, and then the directions say that about once a year, you're supposed to loosen those up to make sure that that clutch plate is not rusted down to the, uh, I don't know, rusted is the right term. Um, that they're not they're not one that 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 actually can do some slips so you're supposed to back those off all i did was uh 
turn my PTO shaft and, and add some resistance to my tines to make sure that they spun. Um, I'm sure you could loosen these up and turn up your tractor and, and, and have that slip. Um, directions weren't, bring me into the picture here, the directions weren't overly specific on, um, they said one and a half is a good place to start. Now it's one little line in the, uh, the manual. Um, and I will, I'll, I'll throw a link down in the contents of, of that manual. But this is the method. Like I said, it's one little line. It's kind of hard to find. But that is your basic adjustment of your slip clutch for your rototiller, or really any slip clutch. So take care. Happy gardening. Bye now.